Out of all the organs, many would say that the brain continues to hold some of the biggest mysteries. One of the most basic questions about the human brain is how do we form memories? How do our brains store information that allows us to accomplish learning? In our laboratory here at Hopkins, we have just cracked part of the mystery of how brain cells grow new connections. And we're really excited to show you where these new insights could lead us. Now it's my turn to use the toy box to help explain what we've discovered. One thing we do know is that the connections between brain cells are important. Like connections between these toys, the connections between brain cells allow brain cells to communicate with one another. A single brain cell may be connected to up to 10,000 other brain cells, and altogether there are literally trillions of connections in the human brain. But if we look at these individual connections, in fact, they're not really this simple. They're much more complicated and have many different pieces which are necessary to allow each individual connection to function. So like these simple puzzles, you need all of the correct pieces in order to complete the connection or puzzle and none of the wrong pieces. In a brain cell, we call these pieces proteins. So how does this amazing process happen at all of the trillions of your brain's connections? How does your brain accomplish making all of the right pieces or proteins and not the wrong pieces. So here's the exciting part that we discovered. We discovered that there are small molecules called microRNA that control which proteins get made in the brain cells. They control that all of the correct proteins get made and also equally essential that the incorrect proteins don't get made so that you can grow new connections which underlies learning and memory. This may seem incredibly fundamental, but knowing how brain cells form connections, how they create pathways that allow learning, also gives us insights into what might be wrong when things aren't functioning properly, such as in learning disorders, autism, depression, schizophrenia. These are some of the most challenging conditions people face, and areas in which we've had frustratingly few advances over our lifetimes. It may be that someday we can manipulate these small molecules, or microRNAs, in order to help brain cells grow and strengthen connections. This is the beauty and the power of basic science. When we commit to understanding how things work at a basic level, we gain fundamental insights which fuels the pipeline that allows the development of new treatments and sometimes even cures for disorders that currently lack good therapy.